Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and today we're going to talk about the pinwheel breath and how this breath, which really, um, it connects us into what our reflexive core is. So that really deep and voluntary action of our deep core, which decompresses our pelvic floor when we find it. So this is a really important uh, concept and how that supports us through the standing and the sitting action. So the pinwheel breath, you wanna imagine there's this big pinwheel in front of your face. So you take a long, deep inhale, and then on the exhale, you want to slowly and, and steady breathe the air out. And when you think you've gotten to the end of your breath, you haven't. So you go a few more seconds, and that's when you're really going to feel this kind of shrink wrapping in your pelvis and around your lower spine. And that's really your reflexive core that's clicking in. So we're gonna do this, and when I feel that last part of my exhale and my reflexive core starts to really turn on, that's when I'm gonna stand up. And then I'll do the same thing when I'm sitting down. So here in my neutral seated position, I take a long, deep inhale. I'm gonna put one foot behind me. And then exhale. Good, and right when I felt that kind of shrink wrapping around my front, back, sides of my pelvis and my lower spine is when I gave myself the power to stand up. And with that, all of my organs and my intestines are being lifted off my pelvic floor so that I have the power to stand without slumping. My spine has the power to stand and there's no bulging happen, happening in my belly or my pelvic floor. Now, sitting down is even harder. So I start to take a deep inhale, and then the exhale. Good, and so on that finding, that reflexive core, that shrink wrapping, that involuntary kind of suctioning and support around my pelvis and my lower spine gave me the support and power to sit down while still decompressing my pelvic floor. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.